Coach Whitney Collier here from the uh, Ellenwood Star Zone. How's it going? I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> Good. Good. Horse voice. Very horse. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. You guys just got <laughs> off stage. What'd you think? How'd, how'd the team do? Um, it wasn't our best performance. However, they did like they pushed and they finished strong. So hopefully we'll come out on top. If not, we know we made a few mistakes. So. Yeah. Proud of them either way, though. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> now, you watch some of your competition. Uh -huh. You guys kind of size them up a little bit. Um, so things are pretty comparable, so it kind of depends on... Yeah, I just watched the routine that we were going to get, and they pretty much hit a routine, so um, I don't know. We'll just have to see what the judges think. Good. Um, what's unique about Ellenwood? Star Zone. Um, um, you guys was, got a great, great program. You get the yeah, I've been cheering. Here? Yeah, 18. Yeah. Um, I've been cheering with Ellenwood for years. I cheered for years since I was like eight or nine years old when this program first started. And we are an all African American cheer gym, and we are the largest in Georgia, maybe even the world, but I know in Georgia for a fact. Um, and it's not just like cheering, it's more of a family oriented facility. And like we all know each other. Like, a lot of the parents hang out. and it's not only children. We we're family. That's what's right. Yeah. Good deal. So you've been all the way through the whole program since I have, age eight or nine. Uh, That's what since the, the program started in two thousand. One, maybe. Wow. So now, what has this program done for you as a person? I now I understand that you just graduated from college. Yes. Yep. It so, um yeah. not only did it teach me skills, it taught me different values. Like it told me what it means to be a team and to work together to so accomplish like one goal, like the same goal. Uh, right. We work hard. Like we've been working hard ever since I was cheering, and we're pushed. So it just taught me to work hard and just like go for it when I want. So the sport of cheerleading has really made a huge impact on you. It is, it has, yes. Um, it made me a stronger person. Um, I'm able to go and kind of just social, social or whatever. Uh, it's just um, been great, huh? Yeah. yeah it's awesome. I love it. I encourage everybody to like join something, maybe cheerleading. Also, cheerleading is expensive, but I feel like it's really worth it. Um, parents, like, the parents love it more than the girls, and they really see a difference. Like, in school, because I know with my girls, I make them, like, bring their cards and give them treats or whatever whenever they have uh, all A's or whatever. So they strive to be the best in school and on the back. Great. One more question. Now you're in a different role now. You, you used to be a competitor. You're a coach now. What's the, what's the, the couple of the big differences? Um, it's just about the same. Yeah. It's just actually, I don't know, because I was always like a leader on my team. So I wasn't a coach, but I was like a leader. So it's kind of, I'm just like responsible for everybody. <laughs> so I have the parents. I don't have Miss Avis as like the director and a coach. Now she's like my boss. So it's like completely different. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. You have to know a little more like on the business aspect or whatever, being like a coach. So. I guess. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Well, best of luck to you the rest you. of the day. Thank you. Awesome.